Thank you very much. The question is uh, really about access to social assistance. Now, under the unfortunate watch of our predecessors, the Tories, if the sponsored immigrants had to access social assistance, they would have $100 deducted from their social assistance payment uh, versus a non-immigrant receiving the same social assistance. As a party, as a government, we thought this was wrong. In 2004, we changed the rule because it's unfair to treat sponsored immigrants any differently than other social services, uh, sorry, sorry, social assistance recipients. So to treat sponsored immigrants fairly and with dignity, the $100 deduction was eliminated in 2004. Now currently, when a sponsored immigrant needs assistance, their sponsor is expected to provide it. If a sponsored immigrant can't get the support they need from their sponsor, they may be eligible for social assistance if they're in financial need and they meet other eligibility criteria such as being a resident of Ontario. The Tories made it more difficult for vulnerable people to access the assistance they need and as a Liberal and as a member of your government, it is a priority for me to help and protect our newcomers and their families. Now on their watch, and in, con in, uh, in contrast to the claims made by my opponent, the NDP increased nursing home fees for almost 50,000 seniors by $330 a month. On their watch, the NDP cut funding for the Ontario Drug Benefit by $29.3 million in 1994-95. And for all of those of you who think it's not a bad idea to keep on working past the age of 65, when many of us are in the middle of our most productive years, just remember this. The Conservatives and the NDP both voted against the ending of mandatory retirement that our government passed just last year. Thank you. Thank you.